What is advanced ignition timing? Why do we have advanced ignition timing in the first place? This is when the air-fuel mixture ignites before the piston is in the top position. It will spark the mixture before the piston is up. You might say, dude, you're crazy. But if I ignite the mixture before the piston is up, then the mixture begins to burn, starts making pressure, and compressing against the rising piston. And yes, that's right. Some of the most efficient engines, or one of the ways to weigh how efficient an engine is, is to see how advanced the timing is. I've had the great fortune during my life to try thousands of engines and do thousands of test drives and sometimes we would wonder what was the most efficient upgrade? Was it the combustion chamber or the spark plugs? And we weren't certain because we tried different things that gave us kind of the same results and we had to decide what was the best. Without a shadow of a doubt, whether you're building a race engine or just restoring an old one, working at a test facility, or just working on a car, the best solution is the one that requires the least amount of timing advancement. Don't doubt it for one minute. The least amount of advance in timing means the most efficiency. I light the mixture before the piston is all the way up, and that also depends on the revolutions, but let me explain why before. I light it early so the spark starts running, so that when the piston is up, the flame is running strongly, and when it begins to go down, there is a moment when the most amount of pressure is produced. And I go back to the analogy I always use about the bike pedal. When you put pressure on the bike pedal, do you apply pressure when the pedal is all the way up, or do you wait a little before pressing down hard? You wait for the right angle and begin to press because that's when your efforts turn into results. Well, the piston is the exact same thing. The idea is to have the most pressure at the correct time, to achieve the best results. The closer to the moment when the piston is at top position is, the more efficient it is. But depending on how that cylinder fills is how to measure how advanced the timing should be. It's not the same with light, medium, and full open throttle. Depending on how much throttle I am applying, the mixture is more dense, it's more compressed, and is more ready to explode. The problem is, if it is too advanced, it will explode before it should, and if that happens, you run the risk of it lighting from anywhere, which is called detonation. It's like instead of applying pressure to the piston, it hammers it. So advanced ignition timing is fundamental in at what time and position it should be. If you look closely, here is where we begin to see a contradiction that you might already see coming. Is the timing the same when the engine is at low speed as it is when it is at high speed? Definitely not, because there is a definite constant and that is the rate at which the mixture burns, and there is something not constant which is the speed at which the piston rises and falls. The quicker the piston rises, if I want the pressure to be in the cylinder when and where I want it, I have to advance the ignition. The faster the engine is spinning, the more I'll have to advance the ignition. The slower it is spinning, I can retard the ignition more. I don't want to complicate things for you, but wanted to quickly explain, and I apologize if I missed something to those who really know about this, I just wanted to give a quick rundown of what this advanced ignition timing is fundamental to have an engine work the most efficiently possible. Subscribe to our channel, Autotech TV. Technology, clear and simple.